Good morning everyone, I'm back. Yep, still, still sniffing but I'm doing okay. So um, here is the updated sponsor list as of this morning, Sunday morning around 11. This is all updated. So if you don't see your name and you've sponsored my channel, please slip me an email and I will fix it. Okay, what do I have? First off, for this month, I've been working on the pendants, and uh, this is what I came up with. I want to see if I can put them up close and get them in focus. So these are the ones I've made. They are beautiful, really they are, and uh, when the uh, light catches them, there's a little bit of glitter in there, just to make it a little interesting. Oh, I've got to watch out that I don't get those things in the paint. So, um, these are what I've been working on. And they are really pretty. And I will be making a couple more, so the people that, um, that get drawn out of the hat, they will have their pick, they can choose. And what I'm going to do is, if you can see that on the back there, there at the top, you can see that I've um, engraved my little signature thing. For the people that don't know, this is my signature. It's an A, then I come around, and that's the R. That's the signature I put on all my paintings, and I will engrave all the... Um, as you can see here, I will engrave my initials on the back. I wanted to do it on here, and I'll talk to you about this in a bit. Can you see that? Where there's that dark bit there? I'll talk to you about that in a bit, because uh, I know a lot of people are making these pendants and having troubles with them. So uh, that's what I'll talk to you in a little bit. But I'm going to put my initials on the back of all of them, so you'll have an original. And um, it's going to be the last day of this month. I'll do the draw and we'll see what happens, right? And of course, I'm going to send them not with a track and trace because then I could only maybe do two or three, but I want to do a couple more. And um, I've just recently, I've sent uh, some of that Dutch mica to America in an envelope and I put them in uh, the little seal bags instead of in containers and just slipped it in an envelope and it came it took I think it took nine days to get to America so that's pretty cool so um, if any one of you guys want the the Dutch mica that I use the gold and the bronze let me know and um, I'll send it so um, about these uh, pendants now the thing is that if you fill it with a lot of you use E6000, but I use the um, diamond glaze. I like the diamond glaze because it dries up, you can't even see it. But the problem is, if you don't press down on this little the cabochon thing, then um, some air can pop up under the, uh, the cabochon, and then you get these really weird... I don't know what it is. See that? It depends on how you turn it. Then it goes away, but I don't think it's very pretty to sell something that has something like a flaw in it. So um, what you can do to avoid this is really easy. You uh, First of all, I, I glue down the uh, little Yupo. First I cut it with my brother's scan and cut. Then I glue it in with the, the diamond glaze. I wait for it to dry. Then I come in and I put four or five big drops of uh, glue on under there. Then I put the cabochon on and I press it that all, it all squishes out. And of course you have to clean that. You have to clean everything that squishes. And then, well, a little bit here, you can see a little bit there, but you can clean it off. Then when that's ready, you put a clothes peg on it. You know, just like that, just a clothes peg, just on it. And it will uh, give it enough pressure that 
it avoids the, uh, the little air bubbles. So that's all you have to do. Okay, I'm going to put these away. Now, someone asked me to do a, a Vallejo pour, and this is all Vallejo what we have up here. Let me get you back in focus. There you go. So this is all Vallejo, and I'm going to um, put in some primary elements because someone asked me to do that. Now, the colors I have here are mostly self-mixed colors, except this one. This is the teal from Vallejo, and that is the burnt sienna. The rest is all uh, mixed up colors. So this is a really light colored um, titanium buff. And this is a little bit darker, as you can see, there's a difference. Then I have, and all I do is use the unbleached titanium with a little bit of white. Then uh, these colors, uh, you can't really see it on, on the monitor. I hope the video is better, but this is a really green turquoise. This is the blue turquoise. This color is mixed with a couple of blues and a bit of white. Then I have the green. It has a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue added just to make it a more interesting green. And that's the colors I have right now here in front of me. Now someone asked me to do a, a little pour with primary elements. So what I've chosen is the Guatemala green and the kiwi, those two colors. And as you can see there, it's from Color Art. So if you don't know what the, this is, you go to um, colorart.com and look for primary elements. What it is is a sort of a mica pigments. There is a sort of a shimmer in there, but there's also pigments in there to color. So. What I do is I get a little cup and I put in this. This is a gloss medium from uh, Windsor & Newton. And why I use this one is, is because it's really, really thick. It's the thickest uh, that I found. Let's see if it squirts out. No, because it always gets stuck, that cap. So what I do is and look at that how thick it is it really is thick that's about enough on that side it is very very thick as you can see now i take my little stick, take out some of this stuff, put it in there, and just start to stir it in. Very slowly. And you can see how the uh, color pigments react straight away with that gloss medium. But it's really, really thick, as you can see. Look at that, how thick it is. Okay, I'm going to do the same to the other one. Maybe a little bit more. Put on the cap. And stir this in. Okay, now what I do is I add pouring medium, and that's Vallejo. It's a little uh, thinner than the usual pouring medium. So then it'll start to give me the, the consistency I'm looking for. At first it goes all, you know, a, a little bumpy and a little yucky, but you just keep on stirring. And it goes all smooth. See that? Now it's smooth. 
but still too thick. So you keep on stirring till it's totally taken in by uh, the uh, mediums. Now this one the same. And you always have to make sure you get the sides. That's very important. Now this won't bubble, so there's no air bubbles in there. I can stir as fast as I want to. It won't, you know, result in a whole lot of uh, bubbles. As you can see, no bubbles at all. Now, now once I've done that, it's pretty much <clears throat> taken all the pigments. Then I come in with this stuff, the polymer medium, and this is really thin. So when I stir this up, I'm almost there. And as you can see, I don't weigh this. You just do it, you know, you just watch what you're doing and add little bits if you're not sure. You know, if you have a lot of experience, you will know exactly how much you want to put in there. You see it coming off the stick already? There it goes. So this one. And I am going to add bronze, my own, because uh, I think I'd like uh, a little bit of bronze in here. Now there we are, nice and smooth. And this one is a little thicker, so I'll give it a little bit more of the polymer medium. Yep, that's it. Okay. <coughs> now, this is the last one. This is my own. This is the, uh, the bronze. And first we take, again, the thicker gloss medium. That's it. and put the bronze in. As you can see, the same thing. <clears throat> Just mix it all up, and then that really beautiful shine starts to happen. I really like that. It's like liquid metal. It's so beautiful. So then I put in the uh, pouring medium. And at first, as you can see, it goes all yucky. Don't be afraid. Just keep on stirring. Because this has to react with that mica and the pigments. And before you know it, It'll be as smooth as you want it to be. As you can see here, it's already really getting smooth. And I think this is pretty much smooth enough. Or I might just add a little bit more because I do want the colors to really pop. There you go. Just a little thicker. And, and you know, now I'm doing it on video. I'm doing it a little bit quicker than I usually do. Because usually I just let it soak in there for a bit. You know, f for it to pick up the pigments. And now it's pretty much the same as the other one is. So we're ready. Now these colors, all the Vallejos, um, the only thing I've done there is um, a lot of Floetrol, of course. It's one part paint 
and three to four parts Floetrol, but it is the Ovatrol, not the thin kind, so it's pretty thick as you can see. And I did put a little bit of polymer medium in it, just a little bit, just a little squirt, just to help the binders. So, one more stir, because the silicone is already at the top, I'm pretty sure, because that's what happens when everything's so thin. <gasps> Whoops, almost tipped it over. Now, what we're going to pour on is a 30 by 30. Put these to the side so I have a little bit more room. Here we go. So it's a 30 by 30, and I see the flickering of the lamps. Can't help it. See that? Now the flickering is gone. Um, so I'm going to, let me put this away. I'm going to uh, put these colors in a cup, but I'm going to keep some of those metallics for if they don't come up in the pour, that I can pour some on. <coughs> so here we are. We're going to start off with the, the lighter colors because we like that if they pop up as lacing. Then, of course, my go to color, turquoise. Pretty. And the green turquoise, pretty, and some of that beautiful green. And some of this blue. Then we'll come back in with the bleach, unbleached titanium. The really pretty burnt cyana. I hope that comes up. Uh, often it just gets lost in the uh, in the pour. Some more of this color. I'm going to try to layer it now, just to give it a little bit a different look. See that? Sometimes you want to pour from up high. You want to drop it in so that it mixes all by itself and sometimes you just want to layer it on top because that gives a different different look so I'm gonna layer this one a little bit of the blue because we need a full cup because I'm gonna pour on a 30 by 30 Okay, I think that's enough. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of my uh, primary elements. And as you can see, it's going to drop right through because there is um, a lot of, you know, particles in there that are heavy. So we're going to let it go right, right through. As you see it? See how it disappears? And over here, we're going to put in the bronze. And that's going straight through also. See that? So it's, it's sort of um, pulling its way through all the layers, and I'm hoping it's going to do some fun stuff. Okay, we have our canvas. And I'll just flip it right, right there. Here we go. Are we ready? Flip. That's kind of cool. And what I'm hoping for is that all that metallic is going to drop right through it. Ooh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. I got a lot of metallic. Ooh, look at that cup. Look in there. That is gorgeous. Oh, and I so want to keep this because that is all metallic. Now, because this is Vallejo, 
as you can see it's not um, very necessary to use your um, torch you just see it grow I will torch it though because I want to get rid of those little air bubbles right away so they can start to form little cells there it goes and I am going to lose all that pretty green sad to say Now I'm going to let it go there. Now when you're stretching those cells, what you really want to do is go, not do to, um, yeah, I'm doing it right now. See where they, they get long and where you really want them round? That is a bit that I think, ah, uh, well, and it's going to happen here too, but okay. It'll just have to do it. And the good thing is, when we do this, and it's really going really slow, but when we do this, um, it also helps to get the excess paint off the uh, canvas. Now, I'm pretty sure this top bit here is going to straighten out, but I am really not happy with all the zigzag going on here, so I'm going to fix that. And just give it its time. It just wants to move, and that's okay. See how this is, the top here? It is really, really beautiful, and this I don't like. There is a little bit of that bronze coming coming through, but other than that, I'm not too, uh, too fond of it. So I'm going to come in again. Just putting a little bit more of the paint on the canvas so that it'll move. See that? There it goes. And it's going to move all those um, ugly colors that I don't like. And I really need a palette knife, which I don't have. There it is. Now I'm going to help the sides a little bit. And it's too bad you're not seeing the real color because it is pretty nice. Now what we're seeing here is bronze, so that is, when that dries it's going to be cool, I'm pretty sure. Um, another thing that I was talking about, about that zigzaggy stuff, I'm not too fond of zigzags. Um, I don't know, you know, some people really like this because it's sort of wispy. Let's see if we turn it around a little. Yeah, it's kind of wispy, but I'm more for the, uh, the round cells. And right now I'm making sure that the uh, all the air bubbles are out. And they are. And now I'm going to come in with uh, the rest of the metallic colors. So... That's why I didn't use everything. Because I thought, you know, if it doesn't really pop up that well, I can do something with it. I love these colors, so we're going to keep those. Now there's no um, dimethicone in the, uh, in the mica, in the primary elements. None at all. Put in some of this green. And I'm going to put in the lightest color 
titanium I have. That's it. And then the rest of the bronze. Okay. I'm going to give it a little swirly. There we go. And then the, the parts that I don't really like is about this here. I don't really like it. So what I'm going to do is come in with the cup and put one very, very broad band over it. And there we have all the metallics we wanted. Now that's kind of nice. Of course we want to slip it off a little bit because it's really, really a lot of paint. But we're gonna keep the uh, we're gonna keep it pretty much like it poured, as you can see. It's just going over the sides. Gotta fix a corner or two. That's it. Now I kind of like this. What happened here? like this part maybe just a little one very thin one going all over like that See if I got you guys in focus because, oops, yeah, it is in focus, but it's not really showing the uh, the right colors, but that's okay. So we have now the uh, metallics popping up um, over here. This green is not the metallic, but there's a little line coming up there, and here's a lot of the bronze popping up. Because uh, in this one I didn't put any uh, sienna, so this all you see is the bronze. Once this is dry, you'll see that it starts to shimmer. And then you can do something else with it. What I do want to do is... Oopsie doopsie. <clears throat> get my little... Uh, get my bucket of uh, glitter, because... I want to add a little bit to it, just to make it a, a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to do that with um, some very, very fine art glitter. This is really as fine as it gets. And I'm just going to blow it. Just a little dust. There it goes. So there's a lot more here, but here's a little dust, and I I thought I'd like it if if this line had a little bit more. Yeah, that's looking really good. You know, you want the glitter to be there, but if you stand in front of the picture, you don't want to see all the glitter. Just you know, when you move a little bit, that it catches the light and it gives you a little bit of um, a little bit of a three-dimensional thing I think that's what I like I'm gonna do a little bit of blue 
just to bring up the blue in the picture. Not too much though, just a tiny bit. That's that. And a tiny bit of bronze down here to, uh, to get that together a little bit. Just blowing it on. That's more than enough. That's it. Okay, we're ready. I am uh, already all, almost, oops, wait a minute. Let me see if I can show you. There on the table. I'm ready to do the big one later. I've already set that up. The only thing I need to do is, uh, oh, see the, uh, now you can see the uh, little bit of glitter I put in. When it catches the uh, light, it's really pretty, but when you're just standing above it, you will almost not see it. So I'm gonna put you guys back up here. There you go. Okay, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to pop this one on YouTube so you have something to watch with your, oh, it's a long video to watch with the Sunday coffee. I will put this away, put it on uh, some cups. Might even do something with the drip off, I'm not sure yet. But I'll see you in the next video, which is gonna be that huge thing. I'm gonna be pouring that with Winsor & Newton, and um, um, it's gonna be sea colors, but I, I wanna do a lot of uh, turquoise colors. I think the most I've done before is three or four, but I'm, I wanna do a whole row of turquoise from dark to light so I'm gonna play with that a little bit so it's gonna take a while before you see me again because I'm gonna be mixing paint for the uh, next hour and a half I think okay love you all to pieces liebe euch alle and see you in the next video bye bye